morning guys it's day two of loon although i mean technically it's not day well it is day two of loon but it's not like the second of june like day two because i'm only doing these every other day but yes second uh second balloon the first balloon went up um, yesterday yeah last last night um and it's going down really well um, i'm glad you're all enjoying it although i feel like I, i'm always saying that in the vlog like oh i'm glad you're enjoying the vlogs it's just gone 11 it's been a very productive morning the probably the one of few <laughs> positives of having to get up very early in the morning with a baby um is that you get quite a bit done before midday and um, by nine o'clock in the morning i'd already obviously gotten up had breakfast the usual um cleared out uh, one of the kitchen cupboards, put some food into the new um, storage jars that I got. I then tidied the kitchen whilst I gave Delilah her breakfast. I've sorted out some clothes. I've showered, washed my hair, done a little face and hair mask. And now I'm ready for the day and we're about to head out. I'm feeling very summery. I'm hoping it's warm enough to wear this top today. It's a little bit chillier, but I really wanted to wear it and the sun's out. So I thought, well, hey, um, I'm gonna wear this top. This is another Zara piece. I have so many Zara pieces at the moment. Oh, I can see the door opening. Why is the door opening? Delilah? Oh, hello! Delilah's just walked through. Hello! <laughs> Where did you come from? Ah! <laughs> just down there whilst mummy shows her top. Yeah. Well, I did plan on wearing uh, a different top, but I needed ironing, hence the ironing board in the background. And I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to wear this because I really want to wear it. Hi! <laughs> so I've just paired it with my my usual Topshop jeans, but I just I love this top so much. I mean, it's two of my favourite things in one. I mean, I mean it's stripy, florally, and embroidered. Well, it's kind of embroidered. I'll show you a I'll show you a close up <laughs> of my boobies. These are the um the flowers. It's kind of I don't know, sort of embroidered, but it's um they're like soft and fluffy. This isn't very like me like i don't usually wear strappy tops like this um just i don't know i've always just been a bit conscious of like my chest and the tops of my arms like i just don't want to look too skinny i think that's why i've just never worn uh tops like strappy tops like this this is an exception i just love the cut of it and um i like the thick straps I have a couple of parcels i thought i'd unbox before we head out this one is from lush it arrived yesterday it just it just appeared on my doorstep i haven't ordered anything so it's obviously um been sent by their pr i cannot tell you how much willpower it's taken to not open this i thought no i'm vlogging tomorrow i'm gonna open it in the vlog so that's what i'm gonna do and then a small box of ellis kitchen goodies that i ordered um for delilah the other day don't get the camera no come sit here and help me open the box right you're gonna guard your stuff yeah so put that there for you you guard that boys get very excited about getting random parcels from lush because as you guys know they're one of my favorite brands and so anything they sent me like 99 percent of the time i'm gonna love and use but i have no idea what what it could be and unless yeah unless they've launched a new product um because <laughs> All their seasonal stuff is gone like mother's day is gone easter's gone spring well yeah spring easter that's like the same thing valentine's day is gone so i don't they don't really have any new sort of collections until well halloween now oh this is exciting delilah look do you want to hold that for me in here we have sleepy body lotion dip into a dream painted in brush strokes of gentle oatmeal infused lavender and flower what are those funny things? Yeah, it's funny, aren't they? No, don't eat them, don't eat them, don't eat them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't give your 10 month old these to eat. They're not little puffs. They're not little puffs, my dear. And then we have yellow submarine bath bomb. Ooh, okay. This is proven a little bit hard with Delilah. Ooh. This is what it looks like. Little yellow submarine. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And that is lemongrass, coriander, Brazilian orange. That's why I like it. I love a little bit of orange. It's vegan. And um, yeah, just a lovely, refreshing, citrusy one, that. And this is metamorphosis bath bomb. That sounds really cool. Comforting, tranquil, and ooh. So comforting and uplifting this one's meant to be whoa look at that no don't eat that 
pretty. Look at that bath bomb. I've never, I've never seen one like that before. Oh, it smells really good. Um, very much reminds me of all the um, spicy scents that you get around um, Christmas, Halloween time that they do. I really, really like that. Right, and then this is the stuff that I got Delilah. We've recently done, well, we've worked a couple of times with Ella's Kitchen, but as a lot of you have probably noticed, we genuinely use their stuff every day. Um, I really like Ella's Kitchen, so this is stuff that I ordered. It hasn't been sent. And I just thought I'd order a few bits off their website because... Um, there's a lot of stuff you can get online that you can't get in our local shops so i thought i'd order a couple of bits and bobs wow <laughs> so we have these we have like the little bags of these um but i think maybe these are just bigger and a little bit crispier oh thank you a little bit crispier than the um little bags because they're from from a year onwards <laughs> they come in this little packet i mean it doesn't feel like there's much in here but I, she doesn't really need much at a time really and these are wakey wakey round ones um kind of like cheerios really but obviously without the sugar and, and bits of milk so got her those there you go also picked her up these apple and ginger baby biscuits and then i bought her these little smoothie squished smoothie fruit things she has the the white one which is coconut and pineapple and what and whatnot and they're just little packets of smoothie um which i don't give out every day because she has a lot of fruit anyway but it's just a nice little nice snack sometimes i picked up easy peasy cheesy pasta with lots of veg and then the last thing i picked up these parsnip and poppy seed savory biscuits i'm now gonna hide these she doesn't eat all these green worms and all of these little white puffy things right should we go out just uh, bunged some boots on. Then I've got my Kate Spade bag. I get asked about this lots. Oh yeah, excuse the clothes on the bed. I'm going to um, try and pop those up on my Depop um, over the weekend. Um, so I've just put them there to remind myself. Kate Spade bag. I get asked about this all the time. This was a, um, like a, uh, not limited edition. It was um, a collaboration or um, something with Bloomingdale's. I got this because I did a, um, I did some work with an American brand. Um, which is why I managed to get hold of this. And then I've popped on my yellow cardigan from ASOS, put all the links in the description and all of that malarkey. Because I'm a bit worried I'm going to be cold because it's only about 18, 19 today. If I get too warm, I can just fling it in the pram. Um, the only problem with this top is I can't wear my cardigans and jackets properly because of these um, ties at the top. Otherwise, I look like I've got massive shoulder pads on. So yeah, I'm just going to have to wear it like that. The town is busy today. I think it's because it's the... Well, it's half term weekend and the sun's out so everyone's out but we are gonna grab a coffee now <laughs> I got a, what's this, an iced caramel macchiato. macchiato, iced caramel macchiato for the first time and it's really good. Headed to White Company because we need to get Delilah another sleeping bag because she currently has a 2.5 tog sleeping bag which is great for pretty much all year round apart from at the moment where she's a little bit too hot in her room during her naps in the day. She's waking up really sweaty, like her hair will be completely drenched in sweat. But we need to either get her a one a one tog sleeping bag or a 0 0.5 tog. I think one would probably be better because then she'd probably have that at night time as well. There was only two up there, so um, I think this is the only choice of sleeping bag that they've got. So I'm gonna pick her up this one. <laughs> Got a little seahorse and a fish on. Lila didn't want to be in the pram any longer, so Daddy's carrying her. You've been carried, haven't you? Yeah. And I'm pushing the pram up this giant hill. We thought we'd grab some lunch out, as um, it's almost Delilah's nap time, so we'll have lunch out. And then we'll go home and put her down for her afternoon nap. We're going to sit outside and enjoy this lovely weather. And Doug's just gone in to grab a high chair. Put you a little chair. Put you in it. Get some wet wipes out. Lila's enjoying her little cheese sarnie. Is 
that tasty? You look like such a big girl. Yeah, you don't need two at once. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Recently Delilah started doing this really cute thing where she like shares her food with you or like you say oh can you give me something and she'll put it in my hand. I don't know how she all of a sudden starts to understand this stuff but it's so cute. Ah, oh, yummy yummy. We're back and I'm just gonna pop Delilah's new sleeping bag out and hopefully she won't get so hot and sweaty in it. So if you guys um, don't know Delilah's first birthday is next month um it's on july 28th but she's having a naming ceremony at the end of this month and so i kind of said to myself right i'm gonna put kind of all my time and effort into her naming ceremony because she already on naming but if you don't know what a naming ceremony is it's basically a non-religious uh humanist ceremony because i'm an atheist so i just wanted something to celebrate delilah and her life rather than um, anything religious but uh, i'm gonna pop her sleeping bag out yeah, so uh, basically I said, oh, I'm, I'm for her first birthday because I'm doing the naming. I'm not gonna like put loads of effort into it. We've we've got her one present. Um, other people will buy her presents. We'll have maybe a little barbecue, and that will be that. But when we were in uh, this little like craft store, I found um, a load of Liberty Print party wear. I couldn't help myself. I had to buy a couple of things for her birthday. Um, I'll show you them in a second. I really recommend um, the White Company sleeping bags. I when before I had Delilah, I was kind of like, no, I just use blankets. I won't use sleeping bags, but they're so good. They're really good at helping them settle as well. It's very tired. You can probably hear her. But then um, I think it was Doug's parents that bought her a, a White Company sleeping bag when she was younger, um, and we started using it when she was maybe a couple of months old. It was the best thing that we did. We've had some other sleeping bags. They're nice, but they're just not as nice as the White Company ones. Like the White Company ones are really soft and like really like squidgy like a lovely soft squidgy duvet they're just my favorite and they wash well let's pop this rubbish in the bin the liberty stuff that i picked up for her birthday I've got some little party hats i saw these and i just thought oh you know what I've to, you, we've got to do a little something for our first birthday so i got her these liberty hats how cute are these look at me how cute oh they've all got different colored pom-poms on oh i love this one there's a spider on my bag Whoa! it's like jumping around jumping around oh delilah look look at what mummy's got on i put it on the side like that yeah too sure how you meant to put these on. Oh, <gasps> <Ha -ha! laughs> no, <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? I picked up this Liberty Prince happy birthday sign, which uh, is probably going to be one of those things that we just use year after year anyway. But I thought that was sweet. managed to get a bit of work done whilst Delilah napped and now we've come to the park to go on the swings.
Cheers! Hey, funny. I think she does this because her legs get too warm. <laughs> I think she just finds it comfy. <laughs> you comfortable? <laughs> we need to get some dinner on the way home and I also remembered that I need to take some new passport photos. I'm sure we're going to turn out horrendously but hopefully are going to be better than uh, the ones I took when I was 16. I mean, it's better than when I was, um, yeah, better than, like, better than 10 years like. ago. Yeah, I'll be there just watching the world go by. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cuddles, cuddles. Oh, right. Yeah. Um. Oh, right, okay. Well, we're um, we're just outside Starbucks. Just gotten back home. I feel like we've been walking all day. It's been quite a busy day. Kind of didn't really expect to be out so long and um, we obviously came back and we went out again and then um doug's sister messaged us and um said that their little brother alistair was coming back from uni today so we met doug's little brother at the train station we went to the park again and then um and then we rushed home because it was already quarter past five. Delilah hasn't had like loads of sleep today and obviously it's been quite an eventful day. Doug's given her like another kind of five minutes in the pram um, so she can have like a ten minute sleep before dinner and bedtime. So I'm going to get her dinner ready. I really need to meal plan for Delilah and me and Doug and then do a Sainsbury shop. I just, I've got so much to do um, and I guess I should have worked a bit more today but I just, it's, it's lovely weather and I wanted to spend time with Doug and Delilah so, yeah. So yeah, I just need to decide what Delilah's gonna have for dinner. Probably just gonna give her this pasta. But now Delilah's starting to come off um, proper purees um, and going on to thicker food. Like these um, from 10 months onwards pouches are great. But because she can, she, like she's really good at just eating like proper food. Like you would have seen her earlier, um, demolishing a, a her cheese sarnie. I wanna start actually like cooking her proper food every night and these just being more of an occasional thing. I've got a Ellis Kitchen recipe book that I wanna go through and um, plan out some meals for her. Although actually, I'm saying that, no, I'm not gonna make her this. She's actually got some leftovers from um, yesterday's lunch or dinner. So I'm gonna give her those. Just got a little bit of pasta left in here. I feel all hot and flustered. I looked at my phone and we, we've done 13,000 plus steps today. So yeah, we've walked quite a lot. Dog's off climbing tonight. Just, just gonna be me on my own, which is gonna give me a good opportunity to um, get some work done. I've kind of been doing work every night in the evenings this week, um, but I, I don't feel so guilty if Doug's not here, because like usually he's sat on the sofa and I'm like over on the computer on the table, and I feel a bit bad, but I gotta do what I gotta do. So yeah, whilst he's climbing, I'll have my dinner, watch some telly, and then um, I'll crack on with work. I have some pasta sauce that I made in the freezer, which I'm just gonna defrost. Where is it? There. There it is. 
um, this it's black olive tomato and lentil pasta sauce all homemade from scratch and um, I've actually done a video recently it's a video that I'm editing now uh, where I show you the recipe so just you just have to hold off if you want to see the recipe and go and see it in that video we love to eat 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 big juicy blueberries <laughs> The stuff you do to try and get your kids to eat. Though well, to be fair, Delilah pretty much eats everything. Let's see if it stays that way. I'm sure it won't when she uh, turns into a toddler, but she's quite good for now. She, she even drinks water. She likes water as well, so yeah, still. Sometimes, occasionally, I have to give her a bit of encouragement. Don't I? Eat, eat, eat. A yummy, yummy blueberry. Just about to take some stuff out to the recycling. And I was taking uh, the Lush stuff out of the box. And um, I thought I hadn't actually opened this uh, body lotion up to see what it looks and smells like. And look at the colour! It probably doesn't look as nice on camera, but it's like um violet, lilac-y colour. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like their uh, French lavender bubble bar. If I'm honest, I don't actually like um, any of the Lush body lotions or the ones I've tried. Like Everyone raves about Dream Cream and it is amazing for troubled skin, but I just find it... It doesn't feel great on my skin. I don't personally like it. But that, that feels nice. Like, that feels like the moisturiser that I use um, and have used for years. I really like it. Oh, that might be a nice one to just pop on before bed, moisturise my skin. It's not too sticky, but it's obviously it's got lavender in, so it's nice and relaxing. Might help me sleep a little bit better. Honestly, I really, really like that. Right, got to take out the recycling again. <laughs> I've had so many parcels the last few days Delilah's tucked up in bed Doug's gone climbing so I'm going to sit here and watch the uh, rest of the last episode of Sam Fair's Mummy, Mummy Diaries because I've completely forgot that I only watched half of it the other week so I'm gonna watch that I'm looking forward to eating my dinner then I'm gonna get on with some work and go to bed so I'm gonna end the vlog here I'm pretty sure I've done um, a little bit better at not filming too much today this is still gonna be a substantial vlog but I think I've managed to not film like two hours worth of footage so that's good. At the end of this vlog I'm gonna put last year's balloon so you'll notice on my end slate I'll have yesterday's vlog or the previous balloon and then there'll also be this time last year's vlog if that makes sense. One of you commented saying it would be really cool if I link back to this time last year because I did balloon last year as well and I was thinking the same too and I thought well why don't I just put it on the end slate and maybe in the description as well um, and then if you guys want to you can go see my vlogs from this time last year when I was eight months pregnant, getting ready for Delilah to arrive. I can't promise that there'll be exactly a year between them, if that makes sense, because I'm not sure if I did every other day or every day. I know, I think I did every day, but I kind of um, missed maybe a few. So I do my best to kind of match them as closely as possible. I thought that'd be cool to do because I was watching some of my old balloons the other day. So um, yeah. I'm going to do that at the end of every balloon. Anyway, I'm going to stop mattering because I want to eat my dinner. And I will see you guys in the next balloon in a couple of days. Bye.